Hey everyone, it's Julie Murphy, and today I want to show you how to attach the tin spool holder to the back of your dream machine or your baby lock um, or even your luminaire. Anyway, the first thing you need to do is you need to raise the lid to your machine. You need to hold it straight up, and with two hands, all you're going to do is pull straight up, just like that. Now let me move over and I'll show you how we get it set up. So now that we're ready to assemble it and drop them down into the slots, and you can see how it just slides right onto the machine. The next thing I'm going to do is load up some large um, spools that are 5,000 meter and some smaller regular standard size spools. So let me get those loaded up. I do place the little foam rings on. Um, I just like it for something when I'm having the smaller spools sit on here that it just gives them something to rest on. Now, this particular position, because this is a large spool, it's a 5,000 um, meter spool, this one I probably would not use one of the spool stabilizers because it's already so close to the thread holder. So for that one, I would just set it on there. Now this next one, let me show you about this. So this one wants to rock all over the place. So I'm just going to take one of the spool stabilizers and put it in there and then match it up and it's all set to go. I'm going to load the rest of them up and I'll show you how I get it threaded. One thing I want to show you as you're threading, you have these rectangles on top and these little levers that stick out. For the front ones, you go in and you go behind it, bring the thread through, and then you take and bring it through the little hole here in the lever. And as I'm doing it, I like to take my little quilting clips. Uh, these are made by Wonder. They're Wonder binding clips. And I clip the thread so that they don't get tangled up in each other. And then when I'm ready, I just pull that little clip and thread it through. So let me keep loading these up and I'll tell you what I do for the next step. Now I will be honest with you. For the back ones, you're still supposed to uh, feed it through the little rectangle and then go through the little lever on the back. For me, I like to actually do it in reverse and I make it go through the little hole in the back and feed it through the rectangle. But that is a preference that I have it's not actually how it's supposed to be done. It just happens to work for the way, for me, the way I, that I work. That's how I use my Wonder binding clips. The stand was actually designed with these little rubber places right here, and they work just as well. It's just a personal preference that I have with the clips. But let me show you how you can also just keep your threads out of the way. All you do is when you finish stitching, you just take it up here and you just make it go around there. And then I do make sure if I do this technique, I do clip it off so it doesn't get tangled with another thread. It keeps each thread out of the way of the other so it doesn't accidentally get pulled into the machine when I'm using a different color. One thing I would like to show you about threading the machine with the tin spool holder, you have a couple of options. This thread right here, suppose I want to stitch with this back spool and it's threaded through, I would come down here to the little thread holder that's down here that's sticking up when you first install it, and then I would just thread the machine like I normally would. Now, let me show you what I do if it's not one that easily reaches here. But if I was using one of the threads that's over here on the far left, say this back thread, I would unclip it, I would take the thread, and instead of going over and then back, I actually come down and use our number two um, 
spot that's here on the machine for when we're winding bobbins and then I would go about threading the machine. That's just two different ways you can use. You could either use the little thread here, thread holder, or down here. It helps us keep the tension right as it threads it into the machine. Thanks for watching.